Hey guys, CJ here with Waste Rectified. Today I'm gonna to share with you my review of Meow Meow Tweets Rose Geranium Baking Soda Free Deodorant Stick. This is my first foray into the natural deodorant realm, so I was very trepidatious and nervous because nobody wants to smell bad. Did this deodorant pass the test? I'll tell you right now. Before I get started with the review itself, I just wanted to mention a couple things about Meow Meow Tweet as a company that I was really impressed by. First of all, they are USA based. The company is a small company based out of New York. What's important to them is using vegan, cruelty free, fair trade certified ingredients. What's cool about their packaging, which obviously this is what first attracted me to to the brand was because I was looking for a plastic free deodorant and this push-up stick is great because I still have the convenience of a stick without any of the plastic. So this push-up stick is really cool which is also made out of I think it's 80% recycled materials and it's 100% paperboard. And what's even cooler is the inks that they use to print these cute illustrations which were actually designed by a co-founder of Meow Meow Tweet uh, are printed from soy and vegetable products which are non-toxic. So all around this product is is compostable, biodegradable, no petroleum involved. But what really pushed me over the edge to try this particular brand was I went to a store in my town called Animalia, and if you live in Salt Lake, you should check it out. They have a lot of zero waste products that are pretty cool. Uh, but I spoke with the shop clerk there, and she actually pushed me over the edge with Meow Meow Tweet because she uses it herself, and she said that it's a great product and that it actually works. I went into it not quite knowing what to expect, and I'll tell you the first thing was the smell and it was very different than the smell I'm used to of my deodorant, which of course I've used for years, so I was very accustomed to that smell. So to try a new deodorant, you know when you try a new fragrance, you can smell it a lot the first couple days you wear it, so it kind of can feel overpowering. And I definitely felt that with this. The rose geranium is a very strong scent, so if you're if you're sensitive to smells, just be prepared that you'll probably <laughs> get more of your fair share of the rose geranium scent for the first few days, but now I've been wearing it for about six weeks and I, I smell it when I put it on and if I'm you know doing a sniff test, but other than that, I really don't smell it. And I also find that it doesn't interfere with other perfumes and things like that that I might wear throughout the day. When I first started wearing this deodorant, I asked my friends and family to be honest with me if they started to smell body odor or if the smell was off-putting of the actual deodorant and uh, all I got was positive feedback. They either really couldn't smell it or they just smell smell deodorant or you know a fragrance like rose or what have you. And it really lasts 24 hours for me. I put it on in the morning and I get through my whole day and then the next morning I wake up and exercise and it still works and then I shower and reapply and rinse and repeat. So it really does last for me the full 24 hours. I didn't have any problems staying dry using this deodorant even when I was kind of running around and kind of breaking a little bit of a sweat. So I really didn't notice any issues with that. It doesn't seem to stain my clothes. I didn't notice any um, like underarm stains in any of my clothes, but I did notice a residue uh, like under my arms uh, on my bras. So it might leave a little bit of a residue there and then I would wash the bras and it would kind of still be a stain there. So um, it didn't, I mean it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I definitely did notice that. It almost looks like a sweat mark, but it's residue from the deodorant. But on my shirts and outward clothing, I didn't notice anything. Uh, like that. So the cons. One of the cons of this deodorant is that it is kind of hard to apply when it's cold. So when you first apply the deodorant you have to kind of hold it on your skin for a little while so it warms up and then you can apply it as normal. I kind of discovered for me I kind of like to twist it a little bit when I'm first putting it on uh, gently and that kind of helps warm it up and then I can move it around the rest of my skin after that. And usually it's only the first armpit and then it gets warmed up and putting it on the second armpit is no big deal. So if you want to like rotate which armpit you start with every day, uh, that might also alleviate like getting too much irritation on one side from that cold start with the deodorant. It's winter now so maybe in the summer when it's a little bit warmer it won't be so cold to start. So it might just be a seasonal thing too and if you're in a warmer climate it might not be an issue for you either. One other small con about this product is you can push it up but you can't push it back down. So you want to be careful when you push it up that you don't push it up too far or else you won't be able to put the lid on. You have to use a little bit of uh, you know restraint in your 
um, raising of the deodorant. But let's talk about the cost. To get this on Amazon, it's about $26. If you order, if you order it through Meow Meow Tweet, it's only about $20, and then I think you have to pay for shipping. It's a little bit more expensive than my old deodorant, but it does seem to have some great longevity. Like I said, I've been using it for about six weeks. It seems like I have a good few weeks at least left using this deodorant. So even though it is a little bit more expensive, I do notice that I'm getting just as much, if not more, longevity. Okay, so as a bonus, I'm just gonna tell you about their cream deodorant too, because I tried the grapefruit baking soda free cream deodorant, just to kind of see how it compared to the stick, because I'd never used a cream deodorant before, so I thought it might be interesting to give it a try and see how um, effective it was. And I did like the smell better. It has a very sugary, sugary scent to it, so it's uh, it's definitely sweeter than the um, rose geranium stick as far as the scent goes, and if you can tell, like, it's really soft and creamy, like I've got it between my fingers right now. Um, so it's really easy to apply, so if the cold deodorant stick doesn't appeal to you, this might be a, a good alternative, but I did find, to be honest, that this grapefruit uh, cream did have the longevity that the stick did for me. I think this lasted a good six or seven hours before I started feeling like I might need to reapply it, and it definitely didn't last uh, until my workout the next morning. I was definitely um, stinking it up a little bit <laughs> wearing this and working out. I work out from home, so nobody had to be, uh, you know, subjected to my stink. But yeah, I didn't think that it was as effective as the stick for me. The cream will run you about $14 uh, if you order from Meow Meow Tweet and $18 on Amazon for 2.4 full ounces, but you only use a pea size amount at a time per armpit, so I think it'll probably last a while. Another benefit to using a cream deodorant like this is Meow Tweet has started offering this product in bulk, so you could take your empty glass tin or any container really and go down to Animalia and buy it by the ounce. And the last thing about Meow Meow Tweet is I just featured two of the products here that I use today, but I know they have a lot of different flavors. Flavors. <laughs> Probably don't need it, probably not. But they have a lot of different fragrances and they have deodorants with baking soda in them and all sorts of different varieties. Um, and they also have soap and some other things too. So if you've tried other products from Yum Meow Tweet that you love, leave it in the comments below because I would love your recommendations to try other products from this company. I'm really excited about this company. I really like their values. And if you're one of those people that makes your own deodorant, will you leave a comment and let me know how you do it? Because I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ready for DIY, but I would just love some insight uh, as far as how to do it and how difficult and or easy it might be. So feel free to leave that info in the comments for me. I'd love to hear about it. I think that's all I have for you today. I hope that you'll make small changes today for a cleaner planet tomorrow, and we will see you next time. Bye. So. Oh. Yeah.